Hello everyone, I'm Ron Grant coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the Virgin Islands. You're watching 284 Media. We've all had conversations about our environment, particularly our ocean and the preservation of such, but what exactly do we do as a community to instill the best practices of the ocean to our next generation? Joining me today is the lovely Miss Via Donovan Hodge, educational partner and of course our very well-known artist uh, who participated and really drove the initiative for the Unite for the Seas BVI Coral Crisis Art Competition. We are going to hear from her as it pertains to this initiative and later on we're going to hear from the winners of the students who actually participated and were able to be successful. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. At Higher BVI, we're not just about business. We're about empowering lives, and that is because we aspire to inspire. By choosing us, you're supporting a company that believes in equal opportunities, diversity, and community growth. Our mission goes beyond profit. It's about providing HR solutions, fostering talent, and leaving a positive impact. Join us in building a better future, a better BVI. Choose Higher BVI where your support isn't just a transaction, it's a transformation. Together, we're changing lives in these beautiful Virgin Islands. Welcome back everyone and thank you so much for sticking with us. As promised, I am joined by the lovely Miss Via Donovan Hodge, who is the educational partner and of course, uh, artist. We love and appreciate your work. Welcome to our platform and thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Now, as mentioned, uh, the Coral Crisis Art Competition uh, was just part of the activities uh, that Unite for the CBVI uh, did to really instill mm -hmm. the value of the ocean uh, to our next generation. I want you to give us some background as to how this initiative came about. Okay, so Unite for the Seas is an initiative under Unite BVI. So we're focused towards ocean conservation and preservation. So every summer, they sponsor a bunch of different programs for swimming, diving, snorkeling. And the aim is to foster the love of the ocean within children, youth, so that they can protect it. Because mm -hmm. you only protect the things that you love. If you don't care about something, then you're not going to try and protect it. So our goal is to make children care about the ocean and love the ocean and feel safe and know how to navigate within the ocean so that there'd be something that they want to protect. So each year, we have a different theme. This year, our theme was the coral crisis. So what I was responsible for specifically was developing our education so that we could go around to the different programs and talk to the kids to make sure that they understood what the coral crisis is, how that affects us in the BBI, and how that affects them personally within their lives as we do live on an island and we're surrounded by water. And then to wrap up the program, we had our art competition, which was just a way to also get them a little bit more um, personally involved mm -hmm. and besides just learning about things, having them put it into action and put it into something that they would care about, which was their artwork. And it was also a really good way to get the community involved because we had a lot of kids who had not been a part of our program. Okay. And we see that in our winners. Like we had people who weren't a part of the Unite for the Seas program and didn't come to lessons and didn't come to dive, didn't get diving classes, but saw the poster for the program and ended up learning stuff about that through the um, art competition itself. Amazing. Now, when you observed, of course, uh, as an artist yourself, what were you most uh, proud of in seeing the various interpretations? Um, I think the kids did a really great job at looking at the theme of the coral crisis mm -hmm. then and now. I think a lot of them did research and like went to see, OK, what does this actually mean and how can I put this into artwork? It was also really nice to see how creative they were with the mediums because we had a lot of different things used to create the artwork. Um, a lot of them were in their descriptions they wrote about the artwork, had like the little things that they used to create their stuff. Some of them were like, I don't want to just use a paintbrush. I want to use other things. Um, we had some sculptures that got made mm. and used like bits of coral that they had found on land that were already dead to integrate them into their artwork. So that was really nice. Excellent. Now, when we put this into perspective, what would you have hoped the uh, mission and, and a real initiative of this now that the students have completed mm -hmm. uh, they go back to their regular lives what, if, what would you have hoped that it would have uh, left with them i hope that they would have left with um remembering what they learned this summer remembering the ways in which they can help the coral and remembering that the sea and the ocean is not just you know this big empty thing that's full of nothing it's full of life and um we've tried to push a lot that coral is an animal it's not just a plant right okay. it's something that is alive it's something that's living under the ocean and making them recognize that so that every time they step foot in the water, they can be a little bit more cognizant. And I do think we did that. 
Amazing. Uh, speak to the parents and the general public who uh, may not see the importance of instilling mm -hmm. the value of preservation to our environment and our ocean, particularly to our children. What are some ways that they could introduce this conversation? Um, so I think, honestly, we have the internet as a huge resource and kids spend all of their time on their devices Agreed, anyway. Yeah. So just um, there's a video on the National Parks um, Facebook page that is about coral, and it's put in a really nice way. It's an animated video. I think Nadia did that video. So there's a series of videos there that talks about the coral crisis and the coral and would be helpful to like just hit, get your children interested, um, getting them to be able to do research, but putting them in swim classes really is really important, right? Because the more time that they can spend in the ocean, and then also as they grow, we have programs that they can go and help to be the people who go and put antibiotic onto the reef with um, Beyond the Reef and those kinds of programs. They have those programs so they can volunteer to do those things and be helpers themselves. So just pushing your kids to like be in the water more and be comfortable with the water and understand how much the water in the ocean is important to us. Because if we don't protect our reefs, we live on an island. Every time we mm -hmm. get storms and stuff, we have storm surges that are stopped from having full impact on our shores because we have the reefs. So if those die continue, if those continue to die and wither away, then we don't have protection for our island, for our land. And we do have a lot of reclaimed land already on this island. So as that starts to disappear, we will be, you know, at risk. Now, in closing, before we get to see some of the artwork, I want you to put into perspective for the persons who were unable to make the event at the uh, Cyril B. Brown Nitro Tola Pier Park. Mm -hmm. It was a, a, a full uh, day, essentially, yes. of, of uh, family and, and fellowship, but learning about the environment. Put it into perspective for those of us who weren't able to make the event. So the event basically was just, we had, it was an art and a film festival. So we had different stations set up around the pier park. Um, one of the stations had all of the artwork displayed so people could come and see. We had, I think, 75 participants in total that had wow. submitted artwork. Um, so those were all on display that we had gotten. Then we had, you know, some educational stuff so people could learn about the coral and come and, you know, learn about Unite BVI, Unite for the Seas and what we do. We had some films showing as well that were educational films, as I said before, to talk about, you know, what the coral crisis is, what coral is, get people to understand and do that. But then also we had um, some documentaries that had been made locally that people had made about the ocean and then ones that we're working on as well. And then we had a giant mural that mm -hmm. was going on that kids were making. So what I did is I created an outline of an undersea okay. vision for them and they got to just sit in the back and you know, they had paint pens and they had all the stuff they needed and they colored that in and they made like a really big, beautiful collaborative picture that's going to go up at Unite BVI's office. So that was really nice as well. Wonderful. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you and the, uh, your entire team, as well as uh, Unite for the Seas BVI for uh, specifically uh, paying attention to the corals in, in, in this uh, pr particular program and the focus of the coral crisis. So now a very exciting part, we get to see the students who participate and of course uh, get to showcase a little bit about their work as well as hear about their personal experience. Thank you so much for you. And viewers, as promised, we are joined by the winners of the Unite for the Seas BVI Coral Crisis Art Competition. Joining me from the St. George's High School is Jaden and Aiden Percival. Uh, Aiden and uh, Jaden, welcome to our studios and thank you for your time. Yep, thank you. All right, pleasure to have you both. Now, you were a part of the number of students across the Virgin Islands who participated in the Coral Crisis Art Competition and you have your artwork uh, with you. I want to see the artwork, uh, but before we get to that, what is your understanding, um, Jaden, I'm going to start with you, of the coral crisis in the Virgin Islands? Do you think we have a coral crisis? I believe yes, because when we went diving with Unite BVI, some of the coral was dying, a lot of it was dead. It was very... It was tough to see. Yeah. All right. And Aiden, what, is your, what was your observation? What do you think about the situation? My observation was, unfortunately, yes, the coral crisis is a real thing in the BVI. As the same as him, we went diving and we saw different pieces of coral that were experiencing stony coral tissue loss disease and bleaching coral as well. And what would you like the general public to understand about how we can better help our environment and protect the corals? To protect the corals, we have to, we have to educate other people and we also have to report back to the reef heroes and also volunteer. Because if we manage to stop the coral crisis going on in the BVI, most of our coastal shores and everywhere around the island will be safer. Thank you for sharing. And Jaden, of course, um, you mentioned about seeing the decay and the, the damage to mm -hmm. uh, the corals. 
in your observation, what was contributing to some of that um, damage? Like, what are some of the stuff that we do uh, that contributes to the breakdown of the quorum? Well, a lot of the time, things we wear, like sunscreen, mm -hmm. it has chemicals in them that can um, cause destruction to the coral. Interesting. I was not aware of that. Yeah. Okay. Anything so. else? All right. So it's time for me to see your artwork and, of course, the general public. So, Aiden, I'm going to start with you. Uh, please present your artwork that uh, allowed you to be one of the five winners and tell us about um, this piece of work. What's the interpretation? So my piece of work was supposed to interpret all the beautiful life that's in the ocean and what we might lose if we don't save the sea. Okay. And you did a great uh, interpretation of that. So thank you so much. And Jaden, can we see your artwork and tell us about it? Here's mine's, um, what I was going for this. When I went to the coral reefs and I saw how beautiful they were, and I thought about how a lot of it is decaying and dying. I just wanted to show what our seas could look like if we don't try and change that. Wonderful and extremely powerful. So you have uh, essentially uh, what it will look like if we continue mm -hmm. to do what we're doing. Yes. And it's not a pretty picture, but the one before is. So thank you so much for uh, your uh, comparison and contrast. Again, we were joined by uh, Aiden and Jaden Percival of the St. George's High School, who are two of the five uh, winners uh, who participated in the uh, Coral Crisis Art Competition. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your observations, your artwork, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You're most welcome. Viewers up next, we will see the final two participants who are here to showcase their artwork. Yo, everything good, Dad? Bye. This thing got me one way, Daddy. What do you mean? Ever since I hook up with this thing, I can't eat, I can't sleep. This is the first thing I touch it when I reach home. What are you really? Hey, this ain't like you, you know. Dad, this thing got me staying home. Keeping out that trouble me. Wow. What's your name is? She? I talk about my CCT life. Don't worry about missing your favorite series, sports, news, and local programming. Come to CCT today and sign up for CCT Live to access over 80 channels. CCT Live. Bring it home. One month free trial, turn into five. Five months turn into well. <clears throat> you know I huff. I watch him ball. I even watch him football. Dad, Nickelodeon, Paw Patrol. I am hook. Hook, I tell you. Welcome back, viewers. And as promised, we're joined by the remaining two winners of the Coral Crisis Art Competition held by Unite for the Sea BVI. Joining me is Miss Niranji. Singh, I said that correctly? Naranjini. Naranjali Singh of the Brigado Flax Educational Center and the lovely Anaya Maduro of Imagination Academy. Ms. Singh and Ms. Maduro, welcome to our studios and thank you for your time. No problem, nice to meet you. Likewise. Now, as I asked uh, Jaden and Aiden, what exactly was your observation upon participating in this project when you uh, went with Unite BVI to uh, actually see the corals? Ms. Singh, I'll begin with you. Well, for me, doing the artwork was supposed to suggest a captiva captivating visual narrative depicting the transformative journey of coral reefs then versus now as the coral crisis team. Mm -hmm. And what was your observation um, when you actually visited? Or did you have the opportunity to visit? I, unfortunately, I was unable to attend. Okay. And Ms. Maduro, did you have an opportunity to do the corals? Um, visit the corals? No. Okay. But Tell us about your artwork. Um, so I started by adding rocks, and then I painted the black splash the water, and then I found a pom pom and I dipped it in some paint and I made the coral leaves. Excellent. So I'd love for you both to show the audience your artwork, please. Wonderful. Now, outside of participating in this competition, what do you? What would you say, based on your knowledge that you've learned throughout this competition, what are you most concerned about when it comes to our coral? That ocean conservation is the preservation of the marine ecosystem and resources to sustain the biodiversity and the protection of the environment. Do you think that we're doing a, a good job of protecting our environment? I think we can do better. Thank you. And Ms. Maduro? Um, personally, I hope that we can keep our coral safe 
and we can protect the fish and all the other sea animals inside of it. I agree with you. Now you can uh, put your paintings down. We live, uh, we're surrounded by water. I personally love the beach. Uh, I literally love going and playing in the sand like a big kid. <laughs> uh, uh, but there's more than that. I'd love to ask you and get your take. What do you enjoy most about the ocean? Just taking a normal swim. It's perfect for me. Okay, enjoying a good swim. And this yes. one, Drew? I like to go under the water and just look at all the fishes. Okay, I want you to speak to the general public and just give them a little bit of encouragement as to how they can better assist us in taking care of our ocean. I'll start with you, Ms. Maduro. Don't throw trash in the ocean because you're harming the animals and the coral. Well said. Um, we should establish marine protected areas to safeguard the marine species and its habitats, of course, and as well have sustainable fishing practices because we all know BVI loves fishing. Indeed. Wonderful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's often said that the future, uh, of course, the, our children are the future, but they are clearly the now. Thank you, Ms. Singh and Ms. Maduro for sharing, and congratulations. No problem, thank you so much.